Hi, this is an example problem about a singly ionized helium. This is from chapter 30. So helium and helium ion is one that has two protons and one electron. Since it has one electron, it's kind of like hydrogen, which also has one electron, and uh, so we call it a hydrogen-like ion. Helium, again, has two protons, and so we can't use the uh, exact same energy level diagram as we did for hydrogen. However, the Bohr model still works for hydrogen-like ions. We just need to put in the number 2, z equals 2, for the number of protons in this ion. And so going back to our equation here, Bohr model, we can see that the nth energy level here, minus 13.6 eV, z squared over n squared, and in this case z equals 2. So let's go ahead and put it in. z equals 2 divided by n squared. When we put that into the calculator, we get a value equal to minus 54.4 eV divided by n squared. So that's the uh, energy equation. for the HE ion. Now part A asks us what is the ground state energy? Well, that's just E1 and when we put a 1 in for N, of course we just get minus 54.4 eV. There's your ground state energy. Let's look at part B. What's the radius of the ground state orbit? Well, Bohr model also gives us an equation for the radius of the various n uh, energy states. Here it is. And uh, again, for hydrogen, it would just be z equals 1, but now I've got z equals 2, so we're going to use the same equation, n squared a naught divided by z. And the a naught there, of course, is the radius you get in the ground state for hydrogen, we give it a special name, the Bohr radius. So Rn equals n squared a naught over z, and for us, z is 2, so R1, the ground state, that equals 1 squared, the Bohr radius is 0 0.0529 nanometers, and we're dividing by z equals 2 for helium. This comes out to a radius of 0 0.0265 nanometers. Notice that the radius of the electron, according to the Bohr model for helium, it's half as big as it is for hydrogen. That's because helium's got two protons and it has a greater electrical attraction. Pulls the electron closer. All right, let's look at C. What is the energy of a photon that is emitted when the electron in the first excited state, n equals 2, transitions to the ground state? So notice that since the ground state is n equals 1, States that are higher in energy than the ground state, they're called excited states, but the first excited state is n equals 2, the next up from the ground state. Well, we've done this before for hydrogen. The process is the same for helium. We just need to know the two energy levels. We know the ground state, therefore we need to calculate what is the first excited state, n equals 2. That's going to be minus 13 point, actually no, we have the equation there, minus 54 point for eV divided by n squared, which is 2 in this case, that comes out to a negative 13.6 eV. Interestingly, because helium we multiply by 4, and then for this level, right, we're dividing by 4. And so now I've got the two values, the ground state and the E2 state, first excited state, uh, to get the uh, photon energy, HF. We just go ahead and take the higher state, 
e2. We subtract the lower state, e1. That's a negative 13.6 eV minus a negative 54.4 eV, which comes out to a value hf is equal to 40.8 electron volts. So there's your energy. And finally, uh, we're also asked, what is the wavelength of that photon? Well, we can do this in the same way as we've calculated wavelengths when, when doing this for hydrogen. So we just simply recall that uh, the, the, uh, the energy here, HF, can be written as HC over lambda, which is equal to the photon energy, either of those expressions. And we want to solve for lambda. So let's take these two, and I'm going to take the reciprocal of both sides. And finally, let's multiply both sides by HC. And then we've solved for the wavelength. So plugging in that information, lambda is equal to HC over the photon energy. H, we can look that up over here, 4.136 times 10 to the minus 15th EV times seconds. The speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And the energy from above, 40.8 EV. We'll cancel out the EV. We'll cancel out the seconds. And we're left with meters. Putting that into the calculator, we get a value equal to 3.04 times 10 to the minus 8 meters, or we could call this 30.4 nanometers, which is in the uh, ultraviolet portion of the electromagnetic spectrum.